Now here's something you'll notice. Um, this is another tip. You'll notice that the parts are kind of off the screen. And if I move my mouse a little bit, I'm going to try and zoom out a little bit, you'll notice that it put a camera icon in here. And let's watch what happens now. I'm going to rewind. I'm going to hit play. And watch once it hits that camera icon, you're going to see it's going to zoom out a little bit. So here's one of the tips. Um, these camera icons will appear quite often and they actually annoy me. Um, so what I do is I just let them happen. I just let them show up and then I clear them all out once I've got my animation the way I want. And then I'll go back and put the camera movements in that I want. Because I might be rotating just to look at something or whatever, but in my final design, I actually want it to be a nice, smooth rotation. So I'll show you what I mean by that. So you'll notice it put this icon in here. And let's say I'm over here somewhere and I, I kind of zoom out like this, you'll notice it puts one there. And then maybe I'm here and I, I kind of look at it this way and you'll see it puts another icon there. Well now watch what happens when we play this. We're gonna get some kind of weird camera movements so it's moving, kind of rotating and stuff like that. Kind of almost annoying, right? So it might be putting these in here and that's okay. We're gonna go ahead and remove those. But why is it putting these in here? And that's because of this icon right here. Okay, if I turn that off, you'll notice it now says view is not recording. So if I came in here and rotated, you'll notice that it's not putting that um, camera icon in there, okay? Until I say record, and then I move, you'll see it just put an extra little camera icon in there. Okay, so I, I did a lot of camera movements in here. I'm gonna go ahead and select all of those and say delete. It kind of puts me back to my original location. Here's another tip. You'll notice this little region right here. It looks like these little curtains, kind of like theater curtains. If I drag my slider into that, I'm not actually in my timeline. I'm kind of setting my stage. And that's what that little icon is. It's a stage icon. So I'm going to get my view something like that. And now when I hit play, notice that the animation is working um, from that view and everything fits.